Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a spoiler free review of JD Netto's The Whispers of the Fallen. So I've been seeing a lot of this book on booktube lately and the premise of the book sounded very interesting so I contacted the author and he so graciously sent me a digital copy of the book so I am incredibly thank you for. Um, that was very generous. Um, this book follows Isaac and Dimitri as they're thrust into this sort of different world when they find out that their bloodlines have been protecting Lucifer's diary and their parents have gone missing. Now it's up to them to protect it. They are thrown into a world of fallen angels and Nephilim who are all sort of fighting to get Lucifer's diary. I think this book is considered fantasy and fantasy with angels sounds fantastic and that's why I picked it up. But unfortunately, I didn't like this book as much as I wanted to. I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. What I loved most about this book was the concept and idea behind it. It's such a unique and sounds like such a fun idea that I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it. But there were a few issues that I had with the book that really made my um, time reading it not pleasurable whatsoever. The one big issue I had it with it was the writing style. I think the author was trying to go for a more old time feel to it and he did that through the writing style and I d it's not like I didn't get what he was trying to do I just think that it wasn't executed to its full extent and that's what pulled me out of the story every time I was reading it. The dialogue is where I think it suffers the most because there are no contractions. I don't know whether or not this was an issue with my copy or the editing or a constant decision by the author, but the use of no contractions really makes the dialogue not flow very nicely. It makes it feel awkward, um, robotic and tense. So as you're reading it, I had to concentrate more fully on reading it rather than being pulled out of the story and then having to work to get back into it. This book is so action-packed, literally from the first few pages you are thrown into the whirlwind of this action and you, you're you playing catch up with the characters and you're wondering what's going on and that is fantastic. But at one point I felt a little lost in the story um, because of all the action. I think the action, action took precedence over the plot a little bit near the beginning so I did feel a little lost. Um, but it definitely narrows back out and you get all the information you need and the story just takes off from there. As for the characters, I'm only going to speak about Isaac because Isaac is our main uh, character. I didn't feel like he was developed to his fullest extent either. He was just sort of this guy and he goes through all these experiences and makes all these choices but from the beginning to the end Isaac doesn't really feel like a different character. Overall I wish I really could have liked this book more um, but the writing style really threw me off at all the books so I had a hard time getting through it um, at certain points but I would definitely recommend this book if you are interested in reading it because maybe you enjoyed that sort of dialogue um, but I definitely don't so that's more of a prefer personal preference rather than anything um, wrong with the book. If you are interested in fallen angels in a, in a fantasy sort of setting, definitely give this a try because you'll probably like it. If you've read Whispers of the Fallen, please let me know down below what you thought. Thanks for watching.